welcome to Netizen News, the show that fills you in on all the latest happenings across Chinese social media. So, Xi Jinping, does he remind you of anyone? Well, according to some Chinese netizens, the president of China bears a striking resemblance to Winnie the Pooh. Look, here's Xi Jinping with Obama, and he's portrayed as Winnie the Pooh with Tigger. And look, this is Shinzo Abe, who is represented as Eeyore. Okay, and oh, look, here's little Piglet. So cute. David, stay away from the pig. All right, now moving on to some news. This month, we see Xi Jinping visit the homeland of the famous childhood story. Yes, she is going to the UK. So in order to mark this special event, we will focus on all the biggest UK China stories. But before we get started, let's ask Pam Pam what Chinese people actually think of the UK. Wow, good question. Take a look at this. <laughs> It seems that our Chinese netizens also see Brits as elegant, polite, and refined individuals. Perhaps this notion of British ladies and gentlemen has been shaped by famous British TV show Downton Abbey and Sherlock. Hmm, well, it's surprising that no Chinese netizens brought up the other less savory British stereotype, the chav. It appears that TV shows like Geordie Shaw or The Only Way is Essex have not left a strong impression on the Chinese. Well, moving on swiftly to another chav or gentleman, Mr. George Osborne, who was in China recently to boost business relations between China and the UK. He has sent shockwaves across Chinese social media platforms by declaring he wants the UK to become China's best partner in the West. Mr. Osborne engaged in a five-day trip to China and he announced that the UK's prosperity depends on its relationship with China, whom he believes is the next superpower. So, Pam Pam, what has been the Chinese netizens' reaction to Mr. Osborne? Well, netizens seem to offer mixed responses. On the one hand, there seems to be some distrust of the UK. In particular, H. Shizai accuses Osborne of speaking empty words, whereas Yi Daolan Zhe Guolan labels the politician a sneaky guy. This cynicism may stem from the past conflicts between those two countries, including, of course, the opium wars. Hey expressing this point by stating, hmm, seems China wants the UK to pay for what it did in the 1860s. But our China is friendly. However, the majority of China's netizens seem to be very receptive to news. Huang Hua says, China and the UK are about to go on to their honeymoon. This may be a reference to Osborne's notion of the two nations entering a golden age of partnership. Woohoo! Huang Zhong Dali Nan 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 says this bilateral relations will be healthy and sound. Qi Yong Zhong Bandui says if Cameron is the strongest support of China from all the Western leaders, I approve of that. Okay, well, thanks for that. Well, back home in the UK, Mr. Osborne's visit has caused some controversy. In particular, there are complaints that he has overlooked human rights issues and also concerns that he has invited China to get involved in the British nuclear industry. So, Pam Pam, what do Chinese netizens make of all of this? Well, actually, it seems that Chinese netizens are somewhat defensive when it comes to human rights, a comparatively sensitive issue in China. For instance, Ru Yu Deshui rebuffed the controversy, claiming that democracy means nothing in a country where people lack food and clothing. If Western countries only go back to that time, they will know that democracy cannot feed the hungry. Another comment reads, if Xinjiang has the so-called independence, it will become another Syria or Iraq causing terrorism and suffering. Only by developing its economy and improving people's livelihood can there be no place for terrorism to grow. Actually, that's what China has been doing. Similarly, the Chinese netizens have reacted very well to the news of China's involvement in the Hinkley nuclear power plant. In fact, Xiao Qiao Lushui Hua 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 says, the smartest government in the world are the British. Okay, well that's all we have time for today, but we'll leave you with this. In a bid to attract more Chinese tourists to the UK, Visit Britain, 
the UK's top tourist agency has introduced an interesting online marketing campaign. They're asking Chinese netizens to come up with appropriate Mandarin names for British points of interest. Check it out.